Hey everybody, welcome to this new video Tech Press. I'm going to be showing you how we can set it up your Google Analytics into Shopify. There's two ways that we can do this. The very first way is like the manual way like everybody does. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be using a second tool that can be helping us to do this a little bit more faster. So you might be opening Google Analytics, creating an account to Google and just follow these steps that appears in here. But there's another solution that I can give you, which is strongly recommended and it's actually really, really simple. So let's just into it. The very first thing I wanted to do is to focus into my actual dashboard of Shopify. Now I wanted to go directly into my applications and go into apps and sales channel settings or go into the all recommended apps just to see that I have here the Shopify app store. Inside the Shopify app store, what we all wanted to do is to look out here for the search bar and type Google. Now inside Google, it's going to be showing us a lot of applications. We just wanted to focus into the one that says Google and YouTube. You want to make sure that this application developer is by Google LLC. Otherwise, this might not be legit. So you want to make sure that you have the actual right application in order to make this work and really, really easy and fast. So I'm going to go into add this into my sales channel. If you wanted to, you can pin this into your sales channel, but automatically this one is going to be appearing into the left part. Focus in here. And now, as you can see, here's Google and YouTube. I'm going to pin this. So there we go. Now, as you can see, I have now the drive sales and reach more customers by connecting my Google account. What I want to do is to hit into connect Google account. I want to allow this. This which should be bringing me now into this new section of signed it in from my Google account. So it is really, really important to import your account. In my case, I have already been signed in. So I just choose my account. Then I just grant the access. I hit into continue. And just like that, my account, all of this information should be added into Google uh, from Shopify. So I close this. And as you can see, looking only to set up Google Analytics number four, we can add an online store, we can create a refund policy, we can connect the Google Merchant, we can verify it ourselves, but we just wanted to focus really quick into how to set it up the Google Analytics. So I'm gonna hit into get started. And this one should be now bringing us into connect a Google Analytics property. If you don't have a property, you don't have to worry about that. You can always go back into Google Analytics and you can create a new one in here, or you can do this directly into a new section that says create new. So once you choose the option, the best suits for you, you choose that option, you choose to connect and your account should be now successfully set it up into Google Analytics. So that means if I go back into Google Analytics, I wanted to go and look out for my actual new section, which in my case, this property is G ending with four Y eight. So let's go back into Google Analytics. Let's go and look out for our property. So as you can see here, I have the measurement ID, the stream URL, stream ID here and the stream name. In my case, it's now been connected automatically. So you just make sure that you have the Y8 here, here in here, Y8, which is this one, hit into connect. And there we go. So uh, this is how we can add this in a very easy, easy way. You can always remember to go into your settings section or you can always go into your online store here into the online store. You can go directly into your custom preferences in here. It says preferences now here into preferences. Just we just want to make sure that you have uh, previously this uh, installation instructions of your builder already been opened. So I'm going to go back into my Shopify. I scroll all my way down and here have the Google Analytics. So I just needed to paste my Google Analytics account in here, the code from the Google here. So with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video, but don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more amazing tools of how we can get started with Google Analytics into your Shopify store. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully we can see you all on the next video.